You guys remember the days of Sir Chez doing the 1K NASA stacks? Yeah. That's the kind of NASA that literally two shots you. He hits you with the slow, slams you with a Q, two seconds later slams you with another Q. You're dead. Oh, and you're trying to fight him. That's cute. You take him down half his life, he throws one Q, he's now healed it back. I think mean, that's the frustration of Nasus, Trinimir, Jax. All these champions are designed to... And, and uh, Alawi. These champions are designed to win 1v1 100% of the time. Obviously, it's not always going to be true, and it's not always going to work that way, but that's what they're designed to do. Wow, he didn't take Spellbook, he took Dark Harvest and Ignite. Huh. Dangerous. So level 6 plus, basically I'm not going to be able to walk forward if the uh, Hecarim is off the map, because the two of them combined will kill me every time. Unless his ult is down, in which case then I have a chance. You don't want to go take the blue... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, cool, we're getting a kill. Huh! I started Eva, hey, free kill, I'll take it. <laughs> Nicely done. I do not need to back. The Ari taking charm and me taking E, he died. Oops. Malphite feeding. I wasn't expecting that. When I walked in there, I wasn't expecting somebody would actually be in there. And then when it turns out Malphite was in there, I didn't think we'd get a kill. I thought at best we'd get a flash. Like, he should have flashed when the charm hit him. Or, excuse me, before the charm hit him. Once the charm hit him, at that point, it's too late because I can level up E and kill him. I really want to hit level 2 fast since I do not have, uh, since I do not have my W. The one I wanted to hit. No. Ah! The attack speed slow. Fuck, that cost me a CS. Oh, whoops, I didn't actually put a point in my W yet. All right. Should win this because it's Malphite. Not as easy as it sounds. Malphite's actually one of the tougher champions for her got to deal with. But that's when I went Black Cleaver first. I wonder if not going Cleaver first will actually make this a lot easier. Really? Shotgun wasn't enough? doing well. And she doesn't have teleport. Cool. Yeah. I'm not an idiot. get out. Uh, I will barely get out. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know. Was the RE low when that started? Because it was basically like Cassidy early on is really, really weak. So how did the Cassidy end up in much better shape? Stomp detect the nut. Not after that last play. Damn it. 
I needed a shotgun to secure that one. Oops, I needed to turn off my W earlier. Alright, so next time I back, it'll be to get a vamp scepter. Unfortunately, he does have double buff. I mean, that's the thing. Even if he builds full AD, which he's not doing, he still does a lot of magic damage. It's like saying you built MR against AD Teemo, what a waste. No, it's still useful. I'm just going to let the cannon get within range. Seriously? Another shotgun, just not doing enough damage. Ah, you guys push him. And you're not six, are you? That's unfortunate. He clearly has vision. It would be nice if you didn't back there. Oh. There's a pink ward. Cool. Never mind. Backing there is just fine. Alright, I got enough for Vamp Scepter. Yeah, Malphite's a champion that can literally go 0-10 and still be useful for his team. It's very frustrating. His ultimate is just such an insanely powerful tool. Dang, our bot lane got fucked. Wow. Nothing I can do. That was really dumb of the uh, Evil to do that. At least I get to get a plate or two, potentially. I mean, his teleport's definitely down, and he's still bot lane. So time to get some plates. Though their, their team got three plates off of that and way too many kills. Answer is no. Thank goodness I am too fast. Unfortunately, like their team is rallying hard. Thankfully, that pink word helped me spot the heck. Is he serious? I hit the wrong one. I needed to hit the hacker. Room.
So it's just unfortunate. Like, in this case, we have an Ari. She didn't rotate. She was mid the entire time that I was getting shoved in. Nice! Oh, we're getting a kill here. No. Alrighty. Well, I guess their foolish play wasn't going to work forever, huh? the charm really. Can somebody please kill this? Thank you. Ari bailed. Full health. <laughs> Holy crap! Thank you, Fladurn, for the donation. I'm gonna take this turret fast. should be able to take it. Unfortunately, we did just lose bot lane. Our bot lane lost a little too hard. I'm just going to keep shoving. This will get me a tower and maybe more. If they don't come to stop me, I will get to smash it into another turret. They're going for the mountain, which is fine if I can get one more crash in. If my team can keep them busy just a little bit longer. And thank you for the... Oh, Are you serious? Asshole. Asshole. I'm dead. I mean, no, I'm not. My mistake, he's dead. I thought I killed myself there, but thank goodness his cooldowns are just a little bit too long. Nice. I might take another turret. I think I will. Wow, the Malphite, excuse me, the, uh, the Cassid in doing that was a huge mistake. Yeah, it got the Rift Herald, but I'm going to kill the tower now because of that mistake. Look at that. I'm getting two towers. Look at that. Holy shit. This game uh, went from a very one-sided situation to a slightly less one-sided situation. Just going to walk away. He's checking to see if I if I left in that brush. Nah. All right. So Yes. Dude, I love the Zed laugh. It's my favorite. There's a reason why that's the noise it makes. I'm gonna walk 
with her to see if we can catch another ward. We do need to be careful. A Malphite ultimate is very much detrimental. Hit the wrong one. Or did I? Malphite went hard and that didn't work. What the hell is this pink we're getting here? It's too bad my ult missed the mouth. And why is nobody dealing with Cassidy? Like, I don't know why Kaisa's top lane right now. What is she doing there? AD carries are one of the very few champions that should almost never split push unless they're top or mid lane. In which case, yeah, split pushing makes sense. Mm, I don't think we can kill him. Silly. Really silly doing that. That was really, really dumb. Really, really dumb. Oh, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? I'm okay. Whew! Whew -wee. These guys are underestimating me. What the hell? What the fuck is this surrender vote doing here? Back to top lane I go. That's right, Malphite, you should leave. Cool, and our team got the dragon. Yes, our flaming inting 80 carry. Because that's what he is. We're not actually winning at this point, but we're in a position where we can. Like, this game is within the realm of victory. If our AD carry just stopped feeding. Same with our jungle. I didn't even realize she was 063. Yikes. I did die in the end, but at what cost to their team? Apparently not much. Apparently not much. That's a terrible flash. Absolutely terrible flash.
Oh, that's not there. That's a terrible pink word, by the way. You don't put a pink word here, you put it there. We gotta be careful, we got no vision. And there go all their pink wards. Thing is, they do have a really scary team fight, and we are behind on kills. Our AD carry is essentially a non-threat, which leaves it just to be me and Ari. Which is not exactly an easy situation to succeed on. That wasn't unlucky, we're down a man. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that this would be one of those good games, but she has literally stopped it from being a good game. Because she's not trying. Like, I'm doing a lot of good work. There's only so much I can do in a situation where you're down, your AD care. AD cares are supposed to be the um, sustained damage threat of your team. He already backed if he backed. He backed. Ah! Hmm? Yeah. Team is... Yeah, we've, we've lost now. See, this is the thing that bothers me. Like, this game was most definitely winnable if our AD carry tried. So I just wonder, like, why specifically would you go the route of guaranteed loss instead of going for the potential of a victory? Now we're too far behind. Now we physically cannot win fights anymore. They have Hecarim and Malphite, and a very, very fed team. Winnable game. This was a winnable game. Wow. 
Wow, it's AP Malphite. AP Malphite is the stupidest thing you can do if you're not fed. And he ain't fed, his team is fed. He's 4 and 6, he's doing terrible. And also, he's been using his ultimate almost exclusively to hit single targets. Yeah, Kaiser's not getting that red buff. You don't deserve it. She's going to bounce me out. Oh. Would you look at that? She didn't intentionally bounce me the wrong way. What a surprise. That's a lot of damage. Hmm? My E didn't go off. I must have gotten hit by something. <laughs> Why didn't my E go off? They don't, they don't actually have any hard CC other than the fear and the knock, but I didn't get hit by either of those. I know I didn't get hit by the snare either, because whatever stopped me from, from throwing my E off was very short. It was really confusing. I don't know why my E didn't go off, but at least I got the kill. Uh, oh well. This was a winnable game. Oops. This was a winnable game. This absolutely was a winnable game. Our Kaiser ensured we couldn't win. When she gave up, the game ended. You can't win 4v5, not most of the time, unless your team's already ahead, and she gave up because we weren't ahead. She basically gave up at the 15-minute mark because we didn't have a lead. Not because the enemy team had an insurmountable lead, but because we didn't have a lead. Like, the enemy team, as far as I could tell, was up maybe a thousand gold overall when she gave up. The enemy team had the tiniest, slightest, most insignificant lead you can imagine. We were going blow for blow that game. When she gave up, the game was essentially even. In fact, let's look at that. I'm kind of curious. Let's see the gold graph. Let's have a look. Yeah, wow, look at that. Not only were we not behind, we had a lead. I was right, we were winning at that point. That fucker gave up when we were winning. This is depressing. This is so depressing. We were winning when she gave up. We had a lead. When I said we were winning at the time, I was right. We actually had a lead when I said it. Fuck. Can you imagine somebody playing a game, having the lead and saying, I give up? Can you imagine that scenario? You know, up until today, I couldn't physically imagine that scenario. And here it is. It happened. We were winning and she gave up. <laughs> wow. Just, this was going to be one of those interesting games until we had our AD carry give up on us. Fuck. This was going to be it. This was going to be an interesting game. They were winning, then we were winning. It could have gone back and forth like this for a while. Or we could have just turned the game and stomped. 
When she gave up, we went from, from doing better than them to, oh, God. It took less than 10 minutes for us to go from a modest lead to down a camp. And it all was because of her. 